Oi, come on, we've got to get this feed unloaded. You stop nagging, I'm eating it. It was supposed to be done yesterday. So why didn't you do it? Because I'm not going to sit around and wait for you to skive out of everything. Now, come on. You touch me again and I will put you in hospital. Oh, every time I walk in, you two are rowing. He's supposed to be clearing his debt, not lazing around. That's what we agreed. I don't remember a hunger strike being part of the deal. I was finishing me breakfast. Oh, come on, he's just stringing it out to wind me up. I, I've been trying to get him going for an hour, Mum. I can't leave you alone for five minutes. You, go and do it on your own. What? You're just going to let him off the hook? No, but until you two can find a way to get along a bit better, he needs to make the money another way. You, get yourself down the garage. The short while Kane's away. I don't know. Debbie's not exactly a fan of mine. Well, now's your chance to start making some new friends. Yeah, I do one. Moira told me to come and do some shift while your dad's away. Really? Well, Moira doesn't decide who works here. I do. And my dad never said he was going anywhere. I think he's given us some space. They've not been getting on too well lately. Really? Well. A lot of things seem to be going wrong since you turned up. Yeah, but well, once you get to know me, you'll see my charm. I think I'll pass. Been in a fight? <sighs> it was an accident. Betty was showing me a few moves. Well, if you'd like to just keep out of trouble, Dan, because we've got a lot of stuff to do, yeah? Yeah, well, that's what I came to talk to you about. I can't really work with this hand. Looks like I'm the answer to your prayers after all. How long are you going to be off for? Well, it could be a while. I mean, it's an industrial accident, isn't it? Could probably claim compensation. Oh, don't start all that with me, Dan. It's your own stupid fault. I should sack you for being so useless. Oh, OK. Maybe not then, but I won't be able to work for a while. Minimum wage by the hour. Just until my dad gets back. You better show him what needs doing. All right. Well, we can uh, start with this, then. Yeah, uh, you've uh, done a good job. Because I didn't do it your way. In your dreams, mate. I'll win a round. Yeah, and if you do, you'll get a smack off cane. Not that you won't deserve it. Yeah, I like living dangerously. Finish this one, boss. You happy with what he's done? Yeah, I guess so. Engine's running as sweet as a nut. You see? I'm a fast worker. Oh, you used to fast getaways. Can I uh, get a phone now and rest this hand up? Ah, oh, yes, I suppose so. So, yeah. What, no goodbye for me? I don't think he likes me. Well, maybe thieving criminals aren't really his type. Seems to like your dad, though, doesn't he? How about me and you go to the cafe for a coffee? I never said you were on a break. What? Well, reckon I've earned it. No, you can clean that van for me, inside and out. I'm a mechanic, I don't clean cars. Oh, well, newbies always get the rubbish jobs. You don't like it, you know what you can do. Don't worry. Be able to see your pretty little face in it by the time I'm finished. Oh, I'm not staying to watch. I'm going to the cafe. Have fun. Oh, you. Remember, I've got deliveries this afternoon. Don't spend all day here. Yeah, you can talk. Behave. Debbie, um, welcome you into the garage, did she? I'm trying to hide it, but I reckon she fancies me. <laughs> yeah, of course she does, mate. All right, don't waste too much time in here. I'm sure I can find you another van to wash. I'm sorry, that didn't sound much like she fancies you to me. She's playing hard to get. Yeah, right. Well, you can talk. Weren't you supposed to go on a date with Katie last night? But from what I heard, she dumped you for a couple of city boys. <laughs> what are you talking about? She went to keep an eye on Victoria. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey, listen. I could go with Katie any time I want. Yeah? There she is. Put your money where your mouth is. I bet you 20 quid you couldn't make it with her. What's the matter? Lost your bottle. Focus on line, please, Diane. Coming up. Hiya. You all right? Yeah. I'll get this. Thanks. Well, I'm sorry for abandoning you last night. No, it's fine. You did sound like you had a lot of laughs anyway. Oh, I didn't. It was awful. <sighs> wow, so it is true then. Just making she look so helpless. And Declan. I didn't even recognise him. He's changed so much since... Since you married him? Since I called the police on him. No, Megan's the one paying for it. No, 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 no. no look, don't do that, all right? This isn't your fault. So why do I feel so guilty, then? Right, I'm sorry. Talk about killing the mood. Just 
to two weddings and here I am heading for my second divorce. Kind of makes you think I'm not too good at the whole love and marriage thing. Oh, come on. You've just been unlucky. Oh, I've got the worst taste in men. <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, I had the last blow you got it on with was a bit of a looker. Oh, really? That's <laughs> funny. Because <laughs> I heard he was a bit of a chancer who wore SpongeBob underpants. <laughs> what? You've been going from a pants drawer again? <laughs> no, it's all them in the washing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, kinky. <laughs> Oh, thanks. I didn't think I'd be cracking a smile today. At your service. Good. Good, cos we are due back at work and you've got the four by four. So, drink up. Come on, let's shift it. Right. <laughs> what happened to work? You arguing? Look, I'm not fussed, all right? If you want to crack on, I don't need to get a glass. Nice! <laughs> I always knew you were roughing. And you think I was a mug too? Yeah, of course I do. Oh, thanks for telling me. I'm gonna save me a whole lot of grief. Come on, face it. All right, would you listen? No. <laughs> but you know what your problem is? I'm just the one. Okay, for starters. You give it down. Yeah, that's a real flaw, Adam. Yeah, yeah, it is. It stops you from being happy. Who says I'm not happy? How can you be? Look, you blame yourself for your ex hitting your sister because... because you stopped him from leaving a murdered bloke to rot. Look, he was my friend, Katie. You did a good thing, you did the right thing. And yet you're paying for it. Look, I just think it's wrong because... Because you of all people, you deserve to be happy. Declan's not going to burst in again, is he? No chance. I don't care what I do anymore, thank God. <laughs> then you should feel the same way. I think you're helping put all my bad memories to rest. Yeah? Yeah. Well, got to be a service. Mm. Maybe we should make sure it's all totally forgotten about, eh? Yeah, maybe you're right. Oh! Am I interrupting, Summer? I thought you were supposed to be at the garage. Well, Debbie done fired you. No, she got me on a breakdown, actually. So I thought I'd grab some grub on my way past. Yeah. Well, you picked the wrong time, so I need to clear off. Oh, I'd have said I picked the right time. If you had told me about this, I would have said you were making it up, but you are a winner, sunshine. Ross, shut up. I know. Don't be modest. So, what's he on about? I am a man of my word. So, was I a bet? Adam, you little creep. Katie, this isn't what it looks like. Please, all right, just wait. No, Adam, don't. All right, just don't. <laughs> 